welcome to another episode of At Work Advocacy Update. Today, it's all about the governor's proposed budget for the upcoming session. There's a lot to cover. The governor's operational budget includes a lot of things that the IDD community will benefit from. 15 new beds and solars for children aged 20 and younger. Adding 100 children in the SIBS waiver, Children's Intensive Behavior Support Waiver. Funding for PPE for in-home providers. Funding to the Department of Health to maintain developmental screenings. And funding for OSPI for internet connectability and digital learning devices for special education students. Remember, there are a lot of plenary proposals from the governor and the legislators will have to work out what they can agree to. The governor also released his capital budget, which unfortunately includes a whopping $178 million in funding for enhancements and repairs to the RHCs. These are our state institutions. There continues to be a very large disparity between what is funded in community services and institutional services. We need to continue to work to address the disparity and move to close our RHCs. This type of investment is not conducive of moving forward to transitioning to a more inclusive Washington state. Thank you, John. We must continue to push the governor and the legislature to provide accurate funding for community and services while moving towards transitioning individuals outside of the institutions. There's a few weeks before the legislative session and we're working very hard to prepare. Next video, we'll be focusing on the new subminimum wage bill that the Community Employment Alliance is running this year in conjunction with self-advocates and agency partners. A reminder that the Community Employment Alliance is the premier agency for IDD employment provider agencies um, as a membership organization. And they focus on policy and systems change to help make things better, not just for the individuals that we serve, but also for the agencies who are providing those services. So more to come on CEA's bill next week. That's all the time we have to, for today. We're wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a safe and happy new year. And remember, change is, change made, is made by those who show up. up.